Hey guys, I am really excited to share my Halloween home decor tour with you today. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Jen. I have three kiddos, ages three, six, and eight, and they are the main reason that I do all the Halloween decorating that I do because they love it and it's just so fun and exciting for them. Um, it's just it's just fun and just kind of not the normal kind of decorating. It just gets the kids more excited and involved and it's just f creepy, just fun things that you decorate with for Halloween. So I'm excited to share that with you today, but what I do is I do all my fall decorating starting in September and towards the beginning, mid of September, and then I take all that down and do Halloween from, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks before Halloween because I don't like Halloween up for too long because it is quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'll do Halloween and then I'll take Halloween stuff down and then starting beginning of November, I start my Christmas decorations, which I absolutely love. So if you didn't see my fall home decor tour, um, I'll leave an iCard and the link down below, but definitely go check that out. I absolutely love the way that it turned out this year. Um, and then it also some ideas for Thanksgiving coming up. If you host Thanksgiving at your home, um, I do not host Thanksgiving at my home. So that's why I go ahead after Halloween and start getting ready for Christmas because we're not here over Thanksgiving. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, um, which is holidays, decorating, all the fun Christmas things that will be coming up, um, all things motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, organizing, all that fun stuff um, is all the content that I do. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you are ready for Halloween. And let's just go ahead and jump right into the Halloween decor. So we're just starting out here on the front porch. And I have this little Halloween garden flag here. I didn't really change too much as far as my fall front porch decor. I just kind of added some Halloween touches to it. This wreath is um, made from stuff all from the Dollar Tree besides the vine wreath part. Um, but I made this probably four years ago and I've just still been using it. Um, this sign is the same one that I had here for fall. Um, this is the reverse side that says boo to you. And we were booed by some friends in our neighborhood, so I've got our little sign on the door there. Now, for my mums, for my fall decor this year, I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't keep them alive like I have in previous years. So, since they were dead, what I decided to do, to go along with the Halloween theme, I had some leftover black spray paint, and I spray painted my dead mums just to kind of give them more of a spookier feel to them. This rug right here is from Hobby Lobby. And then I kind of just did the same thing on the other side and I just draped some fake spider webs just to make it spookier feeling. And as you walk in the front door, you see the entryway and then our family room off in the distance. To the left over here is my entry table. I added this little orange lantern down here. It's just got kind of like the bone skeleton cutout. I just love that little lantern. It's super cute. Um, I love decorating this table for the holidays. I thought it turned out really cute this year with the bats. I have had that home sweet haunted home sign for a while. I'm really not sure where I got that one from, but I've had it for a few years now. Um, this little cage thing here I got from Target, I believe a couple years ago after Halloween. 
Um, I like to do a lot of my Halloween decor shopping, really any holiday, but especially Halloween after Halloween and get stuff super cheap. So that's how I get a lot of my Halloween decorations. Um, these little keys here are a new addition that I got from Michaels this year. I just love those. Um, that little house came from Hobby Lobby and then I've just got candles back there. On the bottom of this table, I just put this little cauldron here with some cottony kind of spider web just to kind of make it look like steamy potion cooking with a witch's hat. And then um, had those little decorations up there, the little spell book here. I believe that was from Target a couple years ago. And then the little boo sign. On the right side here, I have my entryway bench, and I like to add some stuff to this, of course, as you're entering the house. I loved this sign right here from Hobby Lobby this year. I just thought it was the perfect look and touch for this space that scary spooky guy is hanging there I don't know he probably came from Walmart in years past and then I added some of this Dollar Tree little black roses with eyeballs and spiders into that and I absolutely loved this little sign from Hobby Lobby this year come in for a bite with a little bat it is so adorable and then just like a little mini skeleton guy. And down here on the bottom, I have this lighted pumpkin. I always add some holiday touches into our half bath downstairs. So I added that little bone dust jar there. And then on the other side, I kept some of the same stuff that I had for my fall decor, um, the greenery up there, the pumpkin. Um, I did add a Halloween hand towel cause that's just a lot of fun. And then I added the little ghost there and the trick or treat sign but a lot of the stuff is kind of the same for that i did for my fall decor um, the pumpkin candle and then of course my mrs myers um, pumpkin scent soap and this is an overview of our living room I am in love this year with the batch just going way high on our really tall fireplace stone. I just love the way that that looked. The twig tree came from the Target dollar spot this year and I just added a pumpkin there. Um, I kind of went along with the whole like potion bottles thing going on this year. So the black one came from Target. That orange one was from the Dollar Tree and I used little potion bottle stickers that I got from Joann's for the orange bottles. And then the white one that says poison came from Walmart. And I just love those little scale uh, skulls that I got from Five Below.
picture was kind of like the centerpiece kind of thing of the mantle this year and I just thought it was so spooky with how it changes from like normal creepy looking to just flat out scary <laughs> as you change um, the angle that you see the picture from, but that's pretty creepy, right? Um, the kids kind of get a kick out of that, but that was pretty cool up there in the center of the fireplace. This plug right here is our favorite that we love to do for the holidays when I have any kind of lights on the mantle. It's the brand is Eufy. I'll have it linked in my Amazon store, but it's a um, smart plug. And so we hook it up and sync it up with Alexa and she turns our fireplace lights on and off. Alexa, turn the mantle lights off. Alexa, turn on the mantle light. I just love that and think it's so easy and convenient. And we also do this for our Christmas tree and the garland on the stairs. Um, but these lights I got at Home Depot a few years ago after Halloween. On the left side of the fireplace hearth, I just have this pillow and this stand kind of thing I got from Joann's this year. I thought it was really cool. Um, I just put a pumpkin on it and then I have this haunted sign that came from Kirkland's years ago and then just these little pumpkins here. In the fireplace I just put some skeleton bones and on the right side I have a lantern and a skeleton. Um, the, there's a witch's broom back there that came from Target Dollar Spot, I think, last year. Um, the little skeleton, I mean, come on, he's just kind of creepy looking. Um, the Boo Pumpkin from Target. And then in the lantern, I have just some old Spanish moss with some little skeleton heads and then this little rat kind of leaning up on that. I thought this bat pillow was really cute from Joann's this year. So we recently got a new bigger TV. So I didn't really do too much with this whole area because we're getting a new TV console, custom build that we're getting in a few days. Um, so my husband's working on that, but we got these new um, wall pieces from Kirkland's and I just hung ghost on those. And we are going to be hanging those up on the wall when we get the whole TV console and get everything set up. I didn't do too much on the couch. I just put this orange blanket from Joann's here with a pillow and the black bar nest pillow came from Target. This gallery wall over here kind of changes with the seasons and you saw that if you saw my fall decor home tour, um, but that interchangeable sign, I have a pumpkin on it now, but I can change that out for each season. And we've just got some pictures of the kids and I can change the wreath out and the little sign. Um, but over here, I have some pictures of us at the pumpkin patch last year. This is my desk area and the main part of the house. I like to add some little holiday touches over to this area. The shelf up here, I just have a little skull guy there. That little basket spider web basket came from the Target dollar spot this year with some of those pumpkins, but that little stand um, came from Hobby Lobby this year. And I just thought that was really cute, kind of adding some height onto that little spider web bowl. And I just have some other little Halloween pieces and signs there. I 
I love decorating this small tiered tray over in the corner of my desk. It just makes it fun and festive. Most of this stuff came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. Um, that little bat and mummy actually came from Michael's along with the lighted up lantern there. I just think that's so adorable. Um, the little white house came from Target and then I added on some bat little window clings onto that and I just thought that was super cute. But I like the way that this little tray turned out this year. And in this pumpkin picture frame from Hobby Lobby, I just have a picture of the kids from the pumpkin patch last year, which is just so silly. This spiderweb table runner came from Home Goods this year. I thought it was cute and simple, and it has the spiders, silver spiders on it. Um, this little candelabra came from Michael's and I just put it on this tray that I've had for a while with some Spanish moss and some skulls and spiders to give it that spooky feel. of the same kind of style that I did for my fall decor this year but I just changed it out for Halloween I just love the way that that turned out with a little bone hand up there and then some Halloween treats inside of this cake stand from home goods and then I added some little Halloween touches at the bottom this is a real pumpkin that one of my sons picked up from the pumpkin patch this year um, that little rack came from Target and then the little tombstone little chalkboard thing came from Target this year and then a couple of the other things that I have just had and I just thought that was super cute and then I have little spiderweb placemats under it just for just a little bit of a special touch. I added a Halloween mug back here and changed out the pumpkin and greenery um, to make it more Halloween and I changed out this little sign here. I love that that I got from Ross. That little pumpkin lantern is from um, Dollar Tree and then the stand from Hobby Lobby. I changed out the little pot that this plant was in to a skull and then on the other side I left that the same and just changed out a couple of the signs at the bottom. Um, that I did for fall. So got a little skull there from the Dollar Tree and then a sign that says, but first candy. And then of course I still have my Mrs. Myers acorn spice um, hand soap and dish soap there. I just love having that scented stuff there for um, the seasons. Those dish towels came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. I love putting a seasonal dish towel up here on the, my top oven. And then this one over here on the dishwasher came from Joann's. So that concludes my Halloween home decor for 2019. I hope that you guys loved it and it gave you some spooky motivation and gets you ready for Halloween next week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and follow me over on Instagram at My Organized Tribe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.